In this quick tutorial, we're going to focus on how to build out your scoring forms within your assessment. So first things first, make sure you're within the assessment that you want to create the scoring forms for. From there, you can either click on build scoring forms if you see your things to do here, or click on setup and scoring forms. A scoring form in Team Genius is going to be the form that houses the criteria that you want your evaluators to be evaluating on. You could have multiple scoring forms or you can have one scoring form. To create one, click Create Scoring Form. And from there, you can title your form. You have two different types of scoring forms, either subjective or quantitative. Subjective will allow your coaches to rate that player on either a numerical scale or based on word values that you set up within the criteria. Quantitative is more of a metric style scoring form. So if you're trying to gather 40 yard dash time, height, weight, quantitative is what you're looking for. For subjective, you are able to adjust the scoring increments. You can go really granular to 0.1, or you can have those in one increments. You could also change the max score uh, to whatever you want that to be. Overall comments will create a separate comment box for your evaluators to provide general feedback. They're able to comment on each criteria, but overall comments is a way to encourage additional, additional feedback not related to a criteria. Once you hit save, you will see your scoring form name, and from there, you need to add the criteria to that scoring form. So if we go to add criteria, depending on your sport, You'll see a list of options that we already have here in Team Genius, or you can customize this as well. Um, so if you have something more like um, attitude, for example, I'll put that in here. Um, that will pop into the display name. And then for the input type, this is where you can adjust how you want those scores uh, to be submitted. So slider scale is a numerical score based off of the segments, the increments that you set up on the scoring form. Drop down list and button groups are the option to select if you wanted to put name values in. So here's an example of what that will look like, but you can add whatever choices that you want for those name values. Goes worst to best. Button group, same thing as drop down list, uh, but this is recommended if you have short words that you plan to use. If they're a little bit more lengthy, drop down list is probably better. Within settings, this is where you can change the aggregation type. Instructions, anything that you want to include here will show up for the evaluators whenever they are evaluating on this criteria. Once you have your criteria in place, just hit save. You'll see that under your scoring form. And from there, you can add additional criteria. Here, if you needed to adjust the scoring form, hover over the three dots, you'll be able to edit the form, clone it, go to a paper form report to print off or delete the form. You can also adjust the weight of the scoring form if you have more than one scoring form, and you can adjust the weight of the criteria if you have more than one criteria. If you have any questions about how to set up scoring forms, let us know. You can click on the help icon down here at the bottom right of your account or email help at teamgenius.com. Thank you.